Okay, hello. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've probably seen me posting that I found my absolute dream plant yesterday. At Home Depot of all places, I was not in there looking for this plant. I was actually looking for a plant for a different project, couldn't find anything, and then I was just about to leave, and then I saw in the last row of plants the Philodendron Silver Sword slash Philodendron Hostatum of my absolute dreams. It was love at first sight. Immediately, I was shaking, my heart was pounding. I was frantically messaging my Discord chat and like sending photos. So I'm making this video today to one, just introduce her to my channel and two, I'm gonna take you guys with me as I clean her up and get her situated in my home. So this is her behind me here. This is my beautiful new philodendron silver sword. I was so shocked to find this. I've seen, these are relatively common. They are common where I live. Like you can, I see these all the time, but I've never seen one this massive. I'll put some photos on the screen. The leaves are just like giant. Her stems are so thick. Like this is just a very large mature plant. There's multiple plants in this pot. It's a 12 inch pot. And she just, she just looks phenomenal. So I was in the store humming and hawing about it for a hot minute. And then I was just like, there's no way I can leave this store without this plant. Like I'll just be thinking about her forever and regretting it. So of course I got her. Everyone has just been leaving the sweetest comments and messages on my Instagram because a lot of y'all know how sad I was to get rid of my other large silver sword when I moved. And now this one has come into my life. So yeah, beautiful. So yes, I found her at Home Depot very randomly. Um, she costs $50 and I am in Canada, so I don't know where else you'll be able to find them. I'm in British Columbia. I don't know if they're going to be anywhere else because, uh, she did come from a BC grower. So I guess that's my little intro of her to this channel. Y'all will be seeing her a lot. I'm so excited to just like have, have her as a member of this planty fam and we can, um, just take care of her and watch her grow together. I cannot wait to give updates. I also want to pick a name for her. So on my last Instagram post, I was asking for suggestions and people have left a bunch. So I'm going to go through those, but I just feel like she deserves a name. Don't you think? Anyways. Okay. If you have any more questions, leave them down below. I would love to chat with you. Also give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And now we're going to hop into the footage of me cleaning her up. All right, so as you can see, she is in the bathroom right now. I just brought her out of the car straight into the bathroom because I want to make sure I can give her a good cleanup before I have her essentially in any room with other plants in my house. In the store, I could see that she does have spider mites on her leaves, which to me is not really a big deal. I'm going to clean her up, do a treatment for that. Um, although I haven't given her a closer look over and although I'm not worried about spider mites, I would be more concerned about something like thrips because they can fly and it would just be, there'd be a good chance that they would spread to the rest of my collection and y'all know I've been through that and I don't want to be going through that again already. So I'm just going to take a moment to take a flashlight and just give her a better look over. Okay, so all I see is spider mites. There are a lot of leaves that are just like quite damaged, which not necessarily from spider mites, but just from like, I don't know, being like tossed around in the store and transported. And um, this looks like a leaf was stuck unfurling or something. Um, so there is a lot of cosmetic damage on this plant, but she's just like so large and magnificent overall that it doesn't even really matter. And she has so many beautiful leaves. Um, but I am just so excited to clean her up and just give her the life that she deserves, you know? I thought I would show you the spider mites on here in case you're wondering what it looks like. So you can see right here, there's webbing. There's webbing and little white specks and those are spider mites. Not sure how well the camera will pick it up, but I can see it like all over this leaf. Do you see that? I think that those little white specks are the eggs. I don't really see the adults crawling on here. I actually have spider mites on actually a lot of plants in my house right now. It just kind of like was like, bam, all of a sudden it's spider mite season. 
but like I said, it doesn't really stress me out that much. Um, after having thrips, it's like, yeah, not that, not that extreme. A little easier to get under control. Still a pain in the butt though. And still something that you do not want. Okay, so my plan of action is going to be to, I think I'll just spray down the leaves with my new shower head that I installed last night so that I could wash this plant off. I don't know if you can see, but I now have a handheld shower head so I can spray down my plants. It's gonna be a million times better. So I'm super excited about that. So I think I'll just start by giving the leaves a really good spray and getting, cause there's lots of just like debris and dust on them. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with my Safer's End All Miticide because mites are the only thing I can really see on this. And a lot of other like general pest treatments don't work really well on mites. So that's why I like to use like something specifically for that. I already have it mixed up in this spray bottle because I was treating a bunch of my other plants a couple days ago, but I just mixed it as per the instructions on the back. So I'll probably just let her kind of like drip dry in the tub for like half an hour or something. And then I'll come in and spray her down with this stuff. I also finally got masks that aren't just like my cloth mask that doesn't do anything. So now I can wear a mask when I'm spraying stuff like this and doing my like soil mix and perlite and anything dusty like that. So happy about that. Okay, so let's just get her in the tub. Also, by the way, let me talk about her soil really quick. Okay, so as you can see, she is just in this big plastic pot here. I believe that this is a 12 inch pot and she's just in a really dense, like it looks like it's either peat moss or coconut coir or something like that. Uh, I do obviously ideally want to have her in my chunky aeroid mix, so that will be happening, but I'm not going to be repotting her yet today. I just am not prepared for that. I'm, I, I'm thinking I'll probably need another person to help me. Um, and I don't have a pot yet. I'm probably going to want to put her in terracotta, but I don't have a large terracotta pot yet. So I'm just not prepared for that. So today it's just going to be like the foliage. This is slightly damp. Yeah, it is quite damp actually. So I'm a little nervous about that, but I don't know. I'm just hoping since she's such like a large and established plant, it's not going to bother her too much to be essentially getting watered again. I'm just going to keep a close eye, I guess. And wherever I put her, I will run a fan on her. So she'll be getting lots of air circulation and hopefully she'll be able to hold out until next week when I'm able to repot her. So yeah, that'll be interesting doing that. But today it's just all gonna be about cleaning up her foliage. shower head is the best thing ever I don't know why I didn't do that like four years ago but finally for the first time in my plant journey I have an extendable shower head thingy to clean my plants so satisfying so I sprayed her all down as you could see and I'm just gonna wait until some of this water kind of um, dries off of the leaves because I think it'll just be more effective to spray the mite spray when she's not like sopping wet I mean, I could dry the leaves, I guess, but um, I have a few things I can do in the meantime. So I'm just gonna wait and then I will hop back on here. Okay, it has been about 45 minutes or an hour or so and she's mostly dried off. There's still some water droplets on her, but that's fine. I am just gonna go ahead and spray her with the miticide. It's probably gonna take me a while. I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna try to get every leaf, the front and the back. So let's just get her done.
Okay, that actually didn't take me that long. Um, it's pretty quick. I also want to pull off some of her dried catafils and this yellow leaf. Just anything that looks like it doesn't need to be there. I don't know where that's coming from. A stem under there, I guess. Um, these like dried catafils, I'm just going to pull those all off. Just for both aesthetic aesthetics and because pests. It just gives pests another place to hide on the plant, so I might as well just take them off, you know? It's also satisfying removing them. She's got a lot of them. I actually pulled a big one off in the store, too, when I was looking at her in Home Depot. There's some, like, in soil down here too. I don't need those. Um, that one is still kind of fresh. If it's still like pretty fresh, then I'll just leave them on until it dries off a little bit. She actually has a lot of new leaves coming in in different places, which is cool. I don't know how many plants are in here, but there's definitely several. Look at this vine, it is like busting out. As you can see, I've cleared out this little area. I think that this is gonna be the best space for him in my home, at least right now. So I'm just gonna figure out how I'm gonna position him. Okay, this is actually perfect. Like, not a problem at all. I mean, I'll just have to be careful when I open the cabinet. He does have this one leaf. It's kind of broken. Um, whoop, yeah, it's kind of broken, but that's just kind of flopping around because it's the vine that's coming out. So overall, I think that this is going to be a good spot for him. And I actually have lots of room to put the other plants back. Like I said, I'm currently treating a lot of my plants for spider mites right now, so I'm not super worried about this like being near a few other plants. I'm just gonna set them back up here because I want them all to get some light from the grow light still. Makes my painted lady look so small. This used to be like one of the biggest plants I have. It's so funny. And then my Milano. I don't even know. Okay, it's like he was meant to be here. It's perfect, and all the plants fit great. I'm gonna put the light back. All right, so I'll just show you how it looks. It's kind of funny, like, just how massive he is. But honestly, this works for now. I could move the bookshelf out of the way and then move the plant over here a little bit more so it's not like so crammed against the cabinet. That's probably what I should do, hey? I think that's probably what I will go ahead and do. Not right now. Um, 
because I have so much to do today, but probably within like the next week I will do that. For now, I'm just glad that, you know, she's cleaned up and she's in a good spot with lighting and a fan going and everything. So I think that hopefully she will be happy here for now. Wow, I just like, yeah, I can't get over this plant. So, so amazing. And then, yeah, I just have most of my plants that were here before. Milano Chrysum is over here. And then we also have my Syngonium. I, when I was moving this stuff over here, I knocked down, I like got hooked on this string of hearts and knocked it down. So I had to vacuum a bunch of the dirt. Um, but now my Syngonium's here. I actually think that this is a really great spot for it too. Look at the newest leaf. Just look at that, amazing. Um, and then my Syngonium down there. Yeah, definitely looking more planty than it was before, but I mean, I won't complain about that. Yeah, super happy with this. Okay, I just got, woo, I just got back from walking all of outside, but I just have one more thing to add into this video. Well, it's more of a question for you guys. What do I do with this plant regarding staking it? Um, obviously they're climbing plants, like it would love a moss pole, but when there's that many like giant vines in one pot, what do I even do? Like, can I just put a giant moss pole and then try to put all of the vines around that moss pole? Or should I try to like tie it, uh, secure it to a trellis or like, I don't even know what to do. So if you have any ideas or if you have staked a plant of this stature, before, please leave a comment down below and let me know because I just, I just need some ideas. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me while we got her cleaned up and situated. I'm so excited to like have her as a member of our little planty fam now. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.